Hey y'all, I am back. Woo <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 so far has put me through freaking ringer. Like, I am. Am I, am I okay? I don't I don't think I'm okay. Like honestly, I don't think I'm okay. <laughs> I, I have to sound psychotic. I have to sound psychotic. Okay. No. Basically, um give you the sparkles version of like what's going on in my life. Basically, Holly's hit, who has time to read? I do not. Too much socializing. And then January hit and I got COVID. <laughs> so like I did not read like at all and actually I was actually watching a lot more anime than reading because I got myself a projector and I was like what the hell I have like a, basically a whole theater up in here like of course I'm gonna watch anime like the heck so yeah I put manga on the back burner this intro is very scrambled and very unprepared maybe I should do it again so I was like why not make a video Combining those two months together and as well. I have some packages that just came in. I'm like, let's open them up Yeah, I'll have like the same vibe. It's all shoujo manga. So if you don't like shoujo manga Why don't you like it? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so cheers. I got myself some Starbucks a cinnamon dolce latte um, Because they don't have any more caramel brulee lattes because it's not Christmas anymore. Like what? Why can't I have a caramel brulee latte in the winter? Just because it's not Christmas. Sounds rude to me, but whatever. First um, manga I'm gonna talk about for what I read in December, January is <laughs> my girl, Yona the Dime. <sighs> um, I basically have like all of the volumes from like 11 and up. And I actually just like have purposely not read them because like I love this story so much I just wanted to like I don't know like slowly read it through all of it but then I got addicted again that's the thing I get very like hyper fixated on some a show or a manga or something and like that lasts for like a month and then like I move on that's what happened with Yona like I got very hyper fixated maybe this time last year so I ordered like all of the Yona manga that was available and then I just didn't read it because I was like nah, I'm just not in the mood for it and I know once I'm on the mood it's gonna be amazing and it was I'm not completely up to date I'm currently on volume 26 I do not want to pull out all of the volumes I read because I literally read volume 12 to 26 so that's a lot of volumes they're here anyways oh god the story this, dare I say it, maybe one of my favorite manga of all time. Dare I say it, it's so good. Like, oof. the characters, the characterization of every single character is so nicely done. Um, everyone has a freaking meaning. Like, I generally love every character, or I either love every character or I hate that character. And that's just like, it's nice. Like, I don't feel indifferent about anything. And it just makes me feel it makes me feel fulfilled like I feel like read like sometimes when I'm reading manga I'm like I'm wasting my time reading this I do not feel like I'm wasting my time like I am getting my like my money's worth when I'm reading Yona like I was yesterday I was reading volume 24 I think yeah yes yeah, so this is volume 24 and I was literally eating soup in the, my kitchen my mom was like cleaning some dishes and I literally screamed because if you've read volume 24 you know what happens on that volume so the thing is does anyone need a description about what yona is because i feel like everyone knows like it's just like one of those but basically yona is about a girl this girl who's like a princess and then someone close to her betrays her and so like she goes on this quest and she meets a lot of friends along the way and she's basically just trying to bring peace to like the um peace to the to all the lands hawk and yoga air <laughs> they're too good i mean literally like if i had to marry one character and never divorce them it's freaking hawk and period 
I am not gonna elaborate on that. You should just know. You should just know why. You know the dawn, like 10 out of 10, like you can't expect anything better than this. Like I just, I'm renting way too much. Like I am talking way too much. It's just 10 out of 10. It's so good. Ugh. The only thing is though, like I was reading and the fact that they changed the names is very suspicious to me. Like I literally be calling one of the girls Ruby. And it's supposed to be Lily, I think, but I I don't know. So the only volume of anything that I read in December was um, Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost. Um, this was like a spontaneous purchase. I got an Indigo gift card for Christmas because everyone was like, this girl needs some more books and we don't want her to go broke, so here's some Indigo gift cards. Beauty and the Beast of the Paradise Lost. Um, I read volume one. I have the other two volumes, but I haven't gotten to reading them yet. Um, it's a nice story. It's basically just like uh, a different inter interpretation of Beauty and the Beast. Um, but you know, it's just it's nice to see um, some characters you know from the Disney one be significantly different than they are in here. It's definitely just like a a darker version of Beauty and the Beast that um, that Disney portrayed. Um, yeah, I really like the art style. I think it's really pretty, and. Um, yeah, it's not- I can't say a lot about it because I only read volume 1. I did like it though, so I will read volume 2 and 3 um, when I'm not on my Yona the Dawn bullshit anymore because that's all that's consuming my time these days is that I come home from work and that's what I'm reading. Anyways, <laughs> I would rate this like a 7.5 out of 10. Like I liked it. I like the start. I think it'll be a, cute, a good story. So. Yeah, I am hopeful for the next two volumes, um, but at the same time, I'm not expecting to be wowed or anything, but I'm expecting to enjoy it, so yeah. Yeah, okay, I read volume one of Chainsaw Man, um, it's so hyped up, um, so I was like, I need to try it out. Um, again, I've only read volume one. I have the other volume. Again, I just have not had the motivation to read anything but Yona. So, um, yeah, I read volume one. Um, I liked it. I think it's an interesting story. I don't know much. I do like the guy. I forget his name already. Um, I'm still a little confused with the whole premise of like fiends humans and then become like a, I, I'm confused I'm not gonna lie I'm a little confused but I am intrigued and that's what matters um I like the Aki guy he seems really cute <laughs> um I like how he's just like saying F you to like the main protagonist or everything like that I, I like him I hope he doesn't die I hope nothing happens to him because I, I like him so I'm a little nervous um, it would be really funny in a couple of months when I do an update, when I read the rest of Chainsaw Man, I'm like, oh, please. Because, man, they always do that to me. Like, always my favorite characters are long to go. So, I hope not. Um, for first volume of Chainsaw Man, I would give it, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. Like, I was really liking it. And the reason why I give it an 8 is because I always prefer Shoujo over um, Shonen. And for this to keep me intrigued and to really like it, um, means there's something to it, right? So yeah, 8 out of 10 for Chainsaw Man. The next volume that I read in January was actually a gift for Christmas that my mom gave me, which makes it even more special. It was the sixth volume of the collector's edition of Mizami Goku. Um, and can I go a single video without talking about Rubika Takahashi's work? I do not think so. Um, I'm finally, I'm so happy to have it because, um, like Yona, I, I know I could like read it all online like quickly, but I just like waiting for each collector's edition of this to come out and just reading it and then like enjoying it and loving it. Um, volume six of this was amazing. 
um, the their love blossoming slightly, like slightly Golgai and Kyoko. Like you can slightly see it, like slightly, very small, but it's there. I know it's there. I believe. Anyways, but yeah. So the only issue with this volume is that um, so Golgai um, becomes a student teacher, and this high schooler becomes obsessed with him and um, like is like, in love with him and everything and the thing is Kyoko like I don't think this is like a spoiler it's like volume one you find this out but Kyoko fell in love with her high school teacher when she was in high school and they eventually married um, but I always felt like that was a missed opportunity for Kyoko for Kyoko to talk to the high school girl and be like listen like you're young like you shouldn't be going after men that age like well take it learn from me like i don't know like i just feel like there could have been some like life lesson lot learned that's the thing like i love the series to death but that always is something that's a little annoying about it's the only thing because i know um because i know a lot of people say like a lot of the jokes and everything does not translate well now in 2022 but um for me nothing has ever been like offensive or anything it's just that one thing about kyoko marrying her um, teacher or not realizing that it's weird like you know what i mean like i really would have liked her to like realize that that situation was not a normal situation and for that girl that was now obsessed with Godai to just like have a talk with her you know what I mean and in the series they're just like bigger 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 like they're no um, I shall see those talks and I understand because at the same time this high schooler high schooler that's going after Godai Godai does not care at all about her of course he can like the Kyoko I mean who doesn't but um yeah like it's just like a small thing that just bothers me but the romance between godai and kyoko it's it may be very limited very small but boy does it hit it hits well so yeah that's volume six of the collector's addiction of meso on the koku um i never read it oh an eight out of ten like yeah eight out of ten eight out of ten i would rate it higher if I didn't have that one issue, but love the series to death. And lastly, that I've read from December to January was Volume Three of Golden Japanese K. Um, I really like the series. I, I just really like historical romance. It's just my thing. It will always be my thing. I just love it. So um, this is a, this is great. Basically, the story is about. Um, a girl who's half Japanese, half like British, um, but she doesn't know her British side at all. She was raised in Japan with her Japanese mother. Um, basically, feels very ostracized due to the fact that she has blonde hair and blue eyes. That's not typical um, Japanese characteristics. She's been bullied, and just you know, like in general, she's really not like the way she's looked her entire life. Um, and she would like dye her hair black and everything. Um, then this guy comes along and he's like a really well off man, like a really well off boy, they're like the same age, um, and he comes from a very prestigious family and everything and basically it's just them, their romance and how they dealt with like their own struggles and everything like that. Um, volume 3 ended off in a bit of a cliff, not cliffhanger, but a bit of like an interesting one chapter ended, a new chapter has begun type of thing, and I'm a little scared. I am scared because my girl here, she's sweetheart Maria, that's her name. Maria's a sweetheart, I want her to have the very best. And a new character has arrived, and I'm scared this character will ruin her. So, <laughs> um, I'm excited to read the next volume of this. I give this, um, yeah. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 as well. I actually really liked everything that I've read from December to January. Maybe it's because I didn't read that much, but I only really read what I was really motivated to read and like nothing else. Oh! 
What am I talking about? I have I read one more thing. And I actually like kind of forgot about this, but I also did read um, volumes five to seven of Love a Kill. Um, five physically, uh, six seven um, online. And woo, we found some news out. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I do really like this uh, this Jose manga. Um, I think that like the romance is definitely a slow burn, but oh. Anytime they have a moment together, I'm so happy. I you know she's a type that doesn't want to show her emotions, and he's like, oh, like, love me, love me, love me. Uh, um, like I said before, we did get to find out a lot about his past. Um, pretty sad, tragic, um, but yeah, that's what got me going. I loved it. It's just a really interesting story that definitely gravitates and gravitated towards, and I'm always intrigued to read. I read uh, when I read from volume four, five, seven. Mm, I'll give it seven. Mm, no, I'll give it eight as well. Yeah, I really liked everything. I I really liked everything I read. So I have a couple Amazon packages. Woo! Yeah, like I said, I was not mentally well. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not I picked up a lot of manga. Um, <laughs> um, I'm also trying to sell some manga, but man, it's hard. I'm not supposed to buy any of my manga. Like, I get it. It's like not like some exclusive out of print stuff, but like, I'm giving a pretty good deal. I'm gonna link my Depop. If anyone wants to like buy any manga off of me, I have my Depop. I have some manga on there. I'm trying to get rid of. Like, um, love me, love me not. I have like all of them except for one and I'm not gonna lie like this series was so bland I don't know why I was collecting it really and it takes up so much space I put these two up here so much space I could put things I'd rather read and keep here than that and I have other things in a box already like <laughs> why don't I ship it out I just want to get more into like older series and um, because you know like they're because I feel like I have too much of new stuff and not enough of old. Oh, I want more of a balance. So yeah, let's just open this stuff up. So here's this. I don't know what's in each one. I know what I bought, but I don't know what's in here. First things first, I have Sam Chronicles Volume 2. Um, I honestly know nothing about this series, but I've heard such raves about it, and I kind of, I kind of, I mean, I kind of read the synopsis. It's supposed to be a romance, drama, psychological <laughs> thing. I, they just look really cute, and it's not too long the series, so I wanted to get it. Um, I am aware that some of the volumes are like either out of print or like severely out of stock. That the prices are going crazy. I found a website that was like, we'll order it for you. And it was like, okay. So I ordered the volumes that I that are like not available on Amazon off of this website. Was it shady? I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get them. But yeah, so this is volume two of Sand Chronicles. Um, what else do I have here? Yep, volume nine of Sand Chronicles. Uh, and volume three of Sand Chronicles. Yeah, I really want to read it. I think it's beautiful, the artwork. I also really like the may male protagonist, the way he's drawn. I don't know, I like it. So, ugh. The only thing about volume three here that I got, it's like weirdly ribbed. Like, I don't know what they did with it. Like, what? All ribbed. I don't know. Like, I don't think you can tell what camera, but yeah. So, those are the sad chronicles that I received. One, two, and nine. I mean, yeah. So, I'm hoping I like it. Like, 
I bought the entire series. These are the ones that just come in now. So, I mean, the other ones, who knows? Shady, right? Very heavy. I, again, have a feeling I know what this is. But we shall see. Oh, oh my god. Ew. Ew, this is making a mess in my room. There's like... Oh, when I were to keep the the package more padded, just I opened it accidentally and now it's all just like flying out. Ugh. Disaster. Okay. There's a lot of books in here. Ooh. Okay. What's this, what's this one? What's this one? Ah, ah. Ooh. Angel Sanctuary Volume 20. Yeah, I bought all of Angel Sanctuary. So. I, I don't know, like again, I don't know much about the series, but I'm really intrigued, so I bought it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that says something about how I'm doing lately. Not well. But, um, I don't know, it just seemed interesting. I'm excited to read it. I hope I like it. It's 20 volumes. I literally invested in 20 volumes, so I'm really hoping I like the series. It seems up my alley, and I think the art's stunning. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give it a shot. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Uh, so yeah, so the same mangaka that made Angel Sanctuary, I was going down that path, and I was like, why not go for this series called The Kane Saga? Um, basically, it has to do with this guy, Earl Kane. Delve into the tortured past of Earl Kane, see Harfa Gavis, whatever. Um, charismatic heir to a wealthy family full of secrets, lies, and unthinkable crimes. What well, kind of rhymed? The prequel to Godchild series, The King Saga follows the young king as he attempts to unravel the secrets of his birth, all while solving each new mystery that comes his way. Five gripping stories of love, friendship, betrayal. Yeah, so, again, it seems up my alley, you know, kind of gothic, kind of, you know, England, circa 1800s. I've heard good things about it, so again, let's give that a shot. <laughs> and then what else do I have here? <gasps> oh, wow. So I bought a used volume of Angel Sanctuary. I mean... There's nothing wrong with it, it's just a little band in the back, it's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. So Angel Sanctuary Volume 7, it's, yeah, it's definitely used, this one, um, but it's nothing too bad. I mean, for someone who bought the entire series, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I saved some money. So yeah, that's Angel Sanctuary Volume 7. No one else together because they're both the same series. Like this. Ah, uh, yes. Angel Sanctuary Volume 11. This one's new. Yep. Cool, fun, and fresh. <sighs> Angel Sanctuary Volume 17. These covers are to die for. Like, it's really nice to done. I can't wait really to get, like, into this series. Like, I'm a little scared. Like, I'm actually a little scared. But like, not like I'm gonna like be traumatized after this, but I'm excited. I don't know, like there's something about the series, like there's something about it, like this cover is really intriguing me. And just the, the whole idea of like angels and hell and all that fun stuff. <laughs> all that fun stuff, I'm talking about it like it's literally like a game. Um, but it just sounds interesting, so I really hope I like it. Like, I don't want to hype it up too much, but it sounds so good. Like, I'll be sad if it's not. And this is the last package that came in today. It's only one volume or something. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping, honestly, it's um, for the Kane Saga because I have volume one of that. Because the rest of this, I don't have volume one of yet. So I'm hoping it's the case here. So maybe I'll even start it. I don't know. We'll see. Cause I'm interested. I'm really interested in that. Anyways, let's see. And lo and behold, oh, 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the Kane Saga Volume 4 Part 1. Girl, it's wrapped. Wait, what's happening in this series? <laughs> what is happening in this series? Why is this wrapped? Okay, I don't want to open it, but... Should I be concerned? Wait, what, what did I buy? <laughs> I really hope I didn't buy anything too, like, spicy. Oh my god, I bought something spicy or what the heck? I'm not gonna lie, this is my first wrapped... Actually, no. I have my Dress Up Darling, which was wrapped as well. But other than that, this is, like, my first wrapped um, manga I've ever got. So that's interesting. But like I said, I can't wait to read this. <laughs> I mean, these two characters look amazing. Like, I love the character design. Um, I don't know who this girl is, but she is giving me, again, England circa 1800s. Um, I love that gothic vibe. Um, came in. I got all the King Saga's just um, four volumes. Um, one, four, two parts. So I'll have that soon, which is exciting. I'll definitely get into this like ASAP Rocky. I'm curious as hell to know what's going on in here. Are they vampires? Like, if there's vampires, you know I'm I, I'm gonna be obsessed. Anyways, I'm excited to read this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so I'll see y'all soon. I'll leave a comment if you've read any of these series that I just collected. Um, let me know if they're good. I hope they're good. <laughs> if you have any suggestions of things similar to this, definitely let me know because I feel like I'm gonna really like these series. So yeah. Bye!